Hey folks, uh, welcome back. So in this video we'll go about like uh, replacing the uh, alternator for uh, the BMW uh, 3 series, uh, specifically the 328 coupe, the E92 version. So just to give a background, what really happened is uh, like a couple of days back, I started getting a rattle noise uh, from the bay, uh, engine bay. So the first thing I just want, uh, and I tried to like isolate the noise uh, to the source as much as I could, but I wasn't. So what really happened is uh, um, I just want to make sure the noise itself is not coming within the engine. So uh, I what I did is like I took off the serpentine belt and I just started the engine and the noise disappeared. So that actually implies that it, it should be one of the accessories, like uh, it could be the AC compressor, uh, the power steering, um, or the alternator, or the idler pulley, or the tensioner pulley. There are five uh, components which could fail over here. Obviously, this one uses the uh, electronic water pump, so obviously that's not the root cause. So, but again, uh, so I tried different methods like uh, having this mechanic stethoscope, like various videos suggested, and I try to pinpoint the issue uh, but I wasn't but uh, I don't know if it's luckily or unluckily I was like tra tra taking the car around and then uh, uh, the rattle noise became loud and then I got the uh, 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 alternator not charging or not outputting the power kind of warning message on the dash. Uh, then it was apparent that uh, the alternator has gone back and I also had like kind of burn smell. So in this video, uh, I'll be going over like on how to go about uh, replacing the alternator. Okay. So the way we go about uh, replacing this is um, uh, first and foremost, uh, you we have to disconnect the uh, uh, negative terminal of the battery, which is on the uh, trunk and then uh, completely remove this air box over here and then you have to remove the uh, serpentine belt I think it's a T60 uh, you can just remove uh, re release the tension on the serpentine belt remove it and then you have like four bolts like two on the top and two on the bottom and then uh, you have to just remove the negative and the positive cable over here and uh, uh, at least in this model it's straightforward you can just uh, pull it over here the alternator and the uh, replacement is a, a reverse procedure. Uh, the battery is in the trunk and all you have to do is just remove the uh, negative uh, uh, terminal over here. So let's go into it. It's just a small nut. Uh, I think it's a size number 10. And now you have to just remove the uh, AL pad filter box. I think there is uh, two bolts over here. It's a 10 mm socket, two of them. To also remove the uh, connection to the mass airflow sensor. Okay, so this is the mass airflow sensor. You have to disconnect it. There is a small plug. So that's where you use your uh, T60 uh, uh, bolt to actually release the tension on the serpentine bell and then you just remove the bell. I've already like captured the actual sequence of how the serpentine belt is going to flow. So I'm just so going to remove. try extension because this one is really tight. And there are four bolts, and you have to use a E14. I think E14. Yeah, you have to use a E14 star-based uh, socket.
Okay, now you have to just remove the uh, positive, uh, which is a, a bow, which is a, a nut over here, and then I think it's just a connector for the negative terminal. Just remove it. Okay, and there you go, the entire alternator. And I think you have to just remove the idler pulley uh, and just transplant it to the newer one. This is the issue. Uh, check out the noise. And it doesn't move evenly. Like uh, the first half, it moves uh, okay. Second half, it's like as though something is getting stuck. Inside. Okay, so I got the. Uh, new alternator just shipped now and I also got the uh, uh, serpentine belt uh, which I'll be replacing it as a part of uh, preventive maintenance and those are the uh, old parts so let's get it started so just want to show the comparison between the old one and the new one the noise it makes not a single noise here okay so this is going to be the uh, layout of how the uh, serpentine belt has been routed the green one is the belt and uh, the blue ones are the pulleys so this one is a crankshaft pulley and this one is going to be the AC compressor and this is the uh, tensioner pulley the power steering uh, the idler uh, and the alternator so um, the installation of the whole alternator is going to be the uh, reversal of the removal process so I won't be going in detail so let me just put everything back and uh, let's meet again. Okay, so the alternator is now uh, all replaced and it's all uh, the whole job is complete. So before starting the car, uh, let's check the uh, battery voltage. I'm expecting at least to be around 12. Okay, that's like 12.2 is good okay so before starting the car let me show you uh, it's all back there air filter and uh, the new serpentine belt the alternator uh, so we need to check for two things uh, the alternator voltage has to be greater than 14 once when we start and there should not be any noise from the alternator so let's uh, start the car and check it out great it's 14.2 alternator works now let's check for the uh, noise actually for a test drive and uh, everything seems to be back in normal so uh, I believe all the car needs now is some good wash and some love. Uh, so okay, thanks for watching folks and have a nice day. Bye.